Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to access Omegle using a VPN. Now, there are a lot of reasons to why you can't access Omegle, but most of the time, it's gonna be that Omegle isn't actually available in your country due to certain legislation. Or it could be that your IP address is wrongfully limited from accessing the website due to the heavy moderation of the platform as there are a lot of users who engage in illicit activities. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to access Omegle and give you my top three VPN recommendations to make the process even easier for you. Also, if at any point you'd like to give any of the VPNs I'm about to mention a try, you'll find discount links available in the description down below to help you save some extra money. Now, before I show you the process and give you my recommendations for some of the best VPNs out there, it's important to note that this video is meant for educational purposes only, and I do not support or condone any illegal activities using these VPNs. So please make sure that your online actions are responsible and aligned with your country's policies and regulations. With that being said, let me show you how to access Omegle using a VPN. For demonstration purposes, I'll be using ExpressVPN as I consider it the best overall. Start by opening your VPN and going to the list of countries. Then look up the list of countries where Omegle is accessible and find the country closest to you. Type that country's name in the search bar and then connect to any of the VPN servers located in that country. If you can't find the country on the list, try connecting to the second closest one. Once you've connected to the VPN server, go back to Omegle and refresh the page and it should be completely accessible. If somehow it doesn't work out, try clearing your browser's cache and cookies and retrying. And if it still didn't work out, check for any IP or DMS links. Clear the cache and cookies from your browser again and try changing the server. Then attempt to access Omegle once more. With that being said, you'll be able to access Omegle on the first attempt most of the time. As long as you choose a reputable VPN that has a good number of servers, a kill switch to prevent IP and DNS leaks, and great privacy policies. Now, if you're wondering which VPN to choose, I made a list of my top three VPN picks that I highly recommend. And hopefully this will give you enough information to pick a service that fits you and your situation. And so I've been testing out some of the most popular VPNs out there, and I've narrowed them down to ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark as my top three picks overall. Now, all three VPNs work remarkably well with streaming services, they provide some of the best speeds, they're very easy to use, and they also have the necessary security features, such as a kill switch, split tunneling, and a bunch of protocols. But of course, they still vary in what features they offer and how much they cost. And picking out the best service for you will depend on what you're looking for in a VPN. So let me break down each service individually to help you make a more informed decision. First up, we have ExpressVPN, which is overall the best pick as it came first in most major categories like speed, security, and privacy. Now, in terms of reliability, ExpressVPN has proven its commitment to protecting user data several times by conducting many audits over the years. On top of going through a real-life stress test where the Turkish government sees one of its servers in an ongoing investigation, only to find nothing that could be linked to any specific user. Now, other than that, ExpressVPN has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, allowing you to access almost any content from all around the world. But what's so impressive about these servers is their consistency and reliability. Whether I'm streaming, gaming, or torrenting, I've had great speeds and uninterrupted connections. And besides being super simple to use, my favorite thing about ExpressVPN is how responsive it is across all devices. Launching the app only takes a few seconds and connecting to any server takes a single second or less, which isn't something that I can say about any other VPN. And so if you're looking for the overall best, fastest, and most reliable VPN out there, ExpressVPN is your go-to. Next up, we have NordVPN, which offers the most value for money out of the three options. It's got some bonus features that make it a little bit more than just a simple VPN. Such features include threat protection, which blocks ads and malware-ridden websites, and also protects your device from harmful files. And in terms of speeds, NordVPN actually rivals ExpressVPN, especially when it comes to gaming and overall performance. Although it's got over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, so 34 less countries, which means access to less content than Express, but more servers will mean that the user base is more widely spread across the servers, so basically more room for everyone roaming. And another thing I really liked about NordVPN is its intuitive user interface, which has a huge map of all of its servers, allowing you to pick and choose the closest server to you with a couple of clicks. And when it comes to device limits, NordVPN allows you to protect up to six devices with one subscription, as opposed to the five devices limit of ExpressVPN. And so if you're looking for the best value VPN, Nord offers a few more useful features, an intuitive user interface, and great overall performance. 
And finally, we have Surfshark, which is going to be the best budget VPN on this list. Because unlike ExpressVPN and NordVPN, Surfshark allows you to protect an unlimited number of devices under one subscription, which is great for households and businesses. Now, it might not be as fast as these two, but it offers the essential VPN features on top of some bonus ones, like an ad blocker, two type of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful in restrictive countries. Not only that, but it offers a huge server list of over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which gives it a lot of value. And so if you're looking for the best budget VPN that allows unlimited simultaneous connections on top of having the core features of a VPN, Surfshark is your go-to. So to sum it up, if you're looking for the overall best, fastest, and most reliable service with arguably the best privacy policy out there, ExpressVPN is easily your go-to option. NordVPN is going to be the one to get if you're looking for a well-rounded VPN that offers bonus features while maintaining great performance and security for a reasonable price. And finally, we have Surfshark, which is the best budget VPN as it allows for unlimited connections and it offers the core features of a premium VPN at the cheapest possible cost. Now, if you're interested in Surfshark, we have an exclusive discount we can offer for fans of our channel. And I'll show you how it works. So if you directly go to Surfshark's website, the deal you'll currently get is 24 months for $249 per month, saving you 81%. And with other channels and websites, you'll just get two free months and an 82% discount. However, if you use our exclusive coupon code, you'll be getting three free months in total, saving you 83%, which is the best deal available on the internet. And that's it for today's video. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links and pricing discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions, as I love getting to interact with you guys. Like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.